Good afternoon. Come here, Prakash. Sit down. Sit down. Thank you. Sir. Sit down. Now you come from Vishwasriya Technology University. Yes. Sir. I don't know anything about him. Can you tell me something about him? Yes. So he is called uh, as the on his birthday National Engineers Day is celebrated, sir. He comes from a place called Gunda Gundar in Mysore district, a village in Mysore district, sir. Mm -hmm. And he has completed inge his engineering in Pune, sir. Okay. Uh, and then he went on to be the uh, industrialist engineer in mm -hmm. in building some of the magnificent dams that we have, sir. Krishna Raja Sagara Dam, mm -hmm. or else uh, the the Pune Kadakavasla Dam. So these are some of the works that he has done. He is also an economist and a, a, and an industrialist. He has prepared an in, economic plan, irrigation plan for the South Karnataka or the Mysore regions. Very good, very good, fantastic. Now you are a software engineer. Yes. Can you tell me the organization which decides on uh, the so-called IDG? You have I N for India, I R for Iran. Yes, sir. And you have some email ID. Who decides that? Who gives you that identity? Sir, can you please repeat again, sir? I could not hear. From the you. ID in this in the entire digital world yes, are given by some organization yes, to you and yes, to sir. the countries. Yes, sir. Who does that? I'm not sure, so if you allow me, then I'll take a guess. Okay, take a guess. International Telecommunications Unions. No. No. Okay, yes. we'll talk about that later. Yes. Now, collection of war stories on war heroes. Yes. So, the peace heroes are not important. War heroes are very important. So, you, we should fight more wars? Is that no, so? sir. No, sir. We always prefer peace, but in times of war, Mm -hmm. The heroic acts uh, done uh, performed by these or exhibited by these people mm -hmm. will motivate them to ensure that th our sovereignty and integrity remains intact. So tell me one or two stories which you have yes. read. Uh, or... Yes, uh, one of my favorite story is Major Shaitan Singh who fought in the Battle of Rezangla sir, in 1962 India-China skirmish okay. in the northern regions. Okay, uh, any more? Despite having a, 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 shall I name another person? Sir? Yes. So, second lieutenant Arun Khetripal, okay. who, who fought in the 1971 wars. Okay, these are the recent ones. If you go a little back in time, Middle yes. Ages. Major, Middle Ages, sir. Yeah. Mohammed Gawan, sir. I come from a uh, no, northern Karnataka place. Uh -huh. uh, he belonged to Mahamani dynasty, uh -huh. sir. He was, was Marana Pratap a war hero? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Shivaji? Uh, Shivaji, yes, sir. He is a war hero. Sir. Yes, they fought against the invaders and ensured Swaraj or the uh -huh. true identity of India. India okay. Remains. Okay. Now coming to your political science. Yes. Which is the first book ever written on political science and international relations? Yes. It was written by uh, uh, Plato, sir. The polity. What was the name of the book? The polity. Eh? The polity concerning uh, justice. I'm not able to recollect the exact mm -hmm. name. Does it cover international relations and political science both? No, sir. Uh, the politics. Only the politics. Only the politics. I'm asking you the first book ever written on political science and international relations. Um, I have no idea. Sir. No? I'm sorry, I'll go No again. idea? No, sir. You are going far away to Europe. What about closer to your own? Chanakya, home? sir. Arta ah, exactly. Yes. What was the name of his book? Artha Shastras. What does it cover? Sir, it co covers uh, the economic and state crafts. Economy Economics, and state. state crafts and international relations. International relations. Okay. So, yes. what is Saptang theory? Saptang theory, uh, in, in a way that uh, there are uh, seven uh, important aspects for a governance or a state. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there are, uh, if, if I have to name, sir, the military, the governance uh, are these you know ministers are these seven elements or yes. seven ang yes sir they are still important or not yes sir they are important sir hmm? yes sir. they uh, they are important uh, some more have been added sir okay and my last question is yes what is his mandal theory mandal theory sir it is a way of ensuring that our interests are intact by having a relationship either through uh, cooperation or through conquest uh, so that 
our neighbor he he, uh, he presumes that our neighbor will always be an enemy and neighbor's neighbor is our friend so it goes on like that okay yes. what is it called in sanskrit words in sanskrit words sir uh-huh. ari mitra ari mitra uh, yes, mitra first, ari mitra first ring is ari yes, that is your enemy yes sir. the second ring is mitra yes sir. Okay. ari mitra thank you thank you prakash yes sir. over to you karnataka Uh, there was a cast-based survey which was done. Yes, sir. Uh, when was it completed? Sir, I have read about it in the in today's newspapers. Right. Yes, sir. it was completed. That's the reason I'm asking. Recently. Is it there in the newspapers? Yes. So why is it there in the newspapers today? It has been completed recently. Sir. No, right. it's completed in 2017. Okay, sir. The results have not been released. Why? sir uh, the issue re- uh, the political con- uh, controversy or the contention regarding whether there should be a car census uh, is something which held it up to release the de- details because who can do a census in india i go there this is a car based survey yes sir and you are talking about a census yes, so the difference between a survey and a census census yes you know the difference yes what is the difference sir survey is a general uh, uh, Gen- there are certain parameters on upon which a survey is conducted it can be conducted by the private agencies also sir but when it comes to census it, it is particularly related to the population and the uh, parameters uh, that r- revolve around the census it is conducted by government both are done by government the uh, survey is also done by the government it was done by the government yes yes government. but it is done by private okay. and i'll tell you when we have the feedback Yes. Now, um, since you're talking about war heroes, yes. um, who was the first Paramit Chakra awardee in India? Sir, Major Somnath Sharma. Sir. Why was he given the? Sir, he is called. Yes, he he was called the savior of Sri Nagar. Sir, mm. Des- despite having the terrain uh, disadvantage of the terrain and the topography mm. by the incoming Baloch rebels, sir, he fought off and motivated his soldiers to continue fighting and ensure that. the people have been uh, the enemies have been put away from the territory of india and who was abdul hamid abdul hamid sir he was also a fighter in the 1965 wars sir. he is also he is also a paramvira chakra awardee who was second second sir i have i have to read about how many people from the indian air force have got the paramvira chakra no one sir. No one. <laughs> one, sir. If I'm not wrong. Yeah, you're yes, right. Yes, Who one. There's one. Twenty-one. I'm not able to recollect. Twenty-one. Okay, you're right about the twenty-one. Uh, tell me something about uh, BRICS since you're interested in joining the foreign service. Yes. Sir. What is the motto of BRICS? Uh, to protect uh, the shared interests of the regions. So the BRIC idea, mm-hmm. which uh, shared interest of the uh, uh, these countries, not yes. the region. Uh-huh. Uh, of the countries that are in the grouping sir uh, it started in the uh, in the 2000s so the conceptual frameworks sir, to ensure that the developing countries come together to protect their own shared interests in terms of uh, economic framework or trade relations or the climate change sir. now it has been when was the first summit 2000s is a very general kind of yeah. yes when was the first summit 2009 sir. where uh, it was in china sir china or russia I'm not. Okay. No, there are. Uh, you know, BRICS basically looks at multilateral. Yes. Yes. And uh, I thought after 1990, yes. was looking at a single superpower status in the world. Yes. So in a way, BRICS goes against the uh, thought process in the U.S. government. Yes. Sir. So how is the U.S. accepting it? India is able to communicate well that it is not against someone and but but for some things. that brics is an is an organization or a platform wherein uh, uh, countries of uh, shared interests or common values come together sir. Mm-hmm. so we are able to communicate that we do not have alliances but we have multiple uh, relationship partnerships with other countries mm-hmm. having said that uh, usa is a declining superpower now sir because of this various fault lines that we have seen in the last 20 years in the 21st century sir when it comes to the brics sir, it is able to uh withstand because the multilateralism is weakening and the multipolarity is increasing sir 
because of which these countries have come together to protect their own rights because these countries do not have a certain technical uh, expertise in to negotiate on a better term. So, so these countries have come together to. Uh, okay, that's a very long answer. Yes. Small question. Yes. Uh, where is the AIIB headquartered? Yes. Are you aware what is the AIIB? Yes. Oh, yes, it is in uh, China. China is a, yes. a very big country. Yes, sir. Yeah. It is a banking where, which is an alternative to IMF, which is uh, floated by the China. So, can you tell me what does AIIB stand for? Yes. How do you expand AIIB? Yes, I'm not able to. Headquartered in Beijing. Good afternoon. Yes, you are from Karnataka. Yes. So, with respect to Bangalore. Yes. So, what is happening with in the areas of land based or local versus non local? Yes. So, recently the government has set in that 60% uh, of the language has to be from the uh, local language that is Canada in the sign boards in the private institutions such as multinational companies. What percentage? 60%. So, uh, because of which uh, uh, certain fringe elements have used force and violence to enforce this, uh, which is condemnable to the least. If Bangalore wants to be a cosmopolitan city, it has to have a, a value system of tolerance and acceptance. The issue of lang protecting language or heritage can be done through pro uh, uh, persuasiveness rather than enforcing. Uh, certain countries such as Germany, Japan, they are always having a uh, love for their language and ensure that the tech is uh, involving the, their own mother tongues. Uh, we can have that attitude rather than enforcing other person of uh, our language, which is which will reduce the investor sentiment and also the certain investments have been shifted from Bengaluru to certain other cities. Oh, and again, Bangalore being one of the good financial revenue generating place. Yes. Yet the deputy CM of your state has yes. said there are no funds for capital investments. Yes. So can you talk about the fiscal discipline of Karnataka government? Yes. So the, the fiscal discipline has uh, recently due to the certain measures taken by their newly elected Karnataka government that they had promised in the elections, uh, which was, ab uh, was about to the tune of 55,000 to 60,000 crores, uh, is crowding out the capital expenditure uh, possibilities because uh, electricity for all, free bus rides for the women. So these are becoming uh, a burden on the fiscal disciplines. Having said that, there is a, a in, uh, innate uh, de deficit or the disparity between other sectors. So service sector is contributing around 60 to 66 percent. So we do not have a manufacturing capability or the agricultural capacity because agriculture uh, contributes to 40 percent to employment, but they provide only 15 percent of GDPs. So there is a disparity with, due to which capital expenditure is needed, but because of the uh, freebies, freebie culture or the promises made by the government, there is crowding out for capital expenditures. Oh. Yes. And, uh, since you are from Uttar Karnataka, yes. there is some border issue with Maharashtra. Yes. So what was the origin of that issue? Origin, what root of that uh, origin, yes. Yes. origin, sir? It was related to the language issue, sir. In a city of Belagam, uh, the people of Maharashtra, because the demography has changed uh, in the 20th century, sir, after independence. But the Mahajan committee has recommended that culturally the city of Belagavi and adjacent uh, villages have been having the culture of Kannada, sir. But recently, uh, the the issue is still in the Supreme Court, sir. Okay. So uh, the issue should be solved and should be accepted by all as per the Supreme. So next, uh, since your first of difference is the IFS, yes. can you summarize India's current for, for foreign policy in just three, four words or just one line? Yes. Our our foreign policy aim for multilateralism, sir. A rule-based order and respect for uh, and there is a need for reforming gov global governing institutions and in terms of success of our foreign policy we have been successful in the west asia can you name some examples of strategic autonomic decisions that india has taken yes if i can take few seconds to yes. 
uh, when it comes to the issue of climate change sir, we have ensured that we have a decision uh, which is away from uh, the western countries when it comes to the issue of uh, russia ukraine war or uh, pr purchasing oil sir we have uh, uh, protected our strategic autonomy and ensured that our energy security is protected sir. the third uh, issue would be our independent stance on the israel palestine war sir we have condemned the terrorism but we are uh, making aware that our friend israel should be mindful of the civilian uh, losses that are happening sir 29000 people have been killed so being a responsible member in israel must show restraint in protecting the civilian lives uh, since wto is going on you can take up those stand yes conflict. yes, yes. Okay. But crash is supposed to illuminate, and your performance has been very illuminating till now. Yes. Good job. Keep it up. Give a smile. Prakash, I just wanted to know when is your interview actually? Twelfth of March. Twelfth of March. So you actually got about ten days in hand before you strike gold. Okay, tell me what's the difference? You have done B. What's the difference between B and B Tech? Yes. The difference between B and B Tech uh, is uh, due to uh, if. because of the if the gown uh, if i study in a university sir uh, i i i study so i'm not able to okay don't worry think about it okay you talked of i see that you went to nda thrice you you yes. qualified the interview also what happened why didn't you join sir uh, i did not qualify the interview sir in my nda sir I okay 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 you could not qualify the interview yes. not to worry not to worry yes. so you would have been aware of now that you have found of war heroes Manik Shaw has also been a great war hero. Yes. Tell me two qualities that you imbibe from him, or you would like to get from him. He is called as the soldier, soldier, sir. He know how to man manage, sir. So okay, one management. Man okay, management. okay, leadership. One, not bad. Any other quality? The, the other quality is his conviction towards uh, the morale and ethos of the army, sir. And he stuck by it whenever uh, the political uh, uh, masters of those times doubted it. Sir. So I'm sure that when you become an IS officer, you will implement these things and do well over there. Great job. Now tell me that from now that you join, you want to join IFS. Yes. So tell me from Russia-Ukraine war, five takeaways for India. Five takeaways for India. Uh, the technological warfare that India must equip itself. to be and to uh, face the future uh, gray zone warfare or the uh, future risk warfare that uh, is going to take place so we need to be we need to ensure that we have a capability for five because your technology, huh, yes. technology drones drones yes. man liya okay yes, self reliance in military capabilities okay atmanirbhar the smart third. thing is to convert it into india atmanirbhar yes. automatically it sounds good atmanirbhar yeah the third one is uh, uh, the best way to solve issues is through peaceful resolution not through war sir we have realized war of that's exactly what the panelists are strategic autonomy yes strategic autonomy yes. use what you know yes fourth so the fourth uh, the fourth one is ensuring our energy food fuel security is ensured uh, through a strong economy yes. and okay. also the uh, protecting our national interest uh, russia is fighting strategic auton autonomy so that is taken care of next point think about it now let me take you to another place you you walk into a room where the foreigners are there and they make a statement that india is instead of being a is under is a developing nation and was spending so much of uh, finances on nuclear warfare making nuclear submarines making nuclear warheads they are wasting and if we see from 45 till now there been no nuclear war yes. they say why should india waste money on nuclear yes. so there is a policy that says that nuclear weapons have been the weapons of peace after uh, 1945 the if they are weapons of peace then why are we not signing npt sir uh, it is a uh, very hegemonic and ethnocentric sir they are they are uh, putting a lot of sanctions on us and asking us to uh, uh, adhere to certain issues or the certain uh, rules set by us please read what is npt why have we not signed and why is it important for us understand the geopolitics what is happening in pakistan what's happening in china understand what is happening in russia ukraine why nato is not stepping in what putin is telling If you understand these things, your answer will come out good. I enjoyed interacting with you, Prakash. All the best. Power corrupts. 
Absolute power corrupts, absolutely. Two examples from Indian politics. Indian politics. Current politics. Current politics. The issue of uh, the municipal... Uh, yes, good. Second. The issue was raised in the Nabam Rebia case, the governor uh, misusing the office. Which which governor? In the Nabam Rebia case, Arunachal Pradesh, a wherein governor... Uh, okay, very good. Power comes from the barrel of a gun. Yes. The Communist Manifesto of Karl Marx was totally reinterpreted by Mao. Yes. What do you say? Yes. How he has changed the manifesto, the communist, uh, I mean, um, communism, the, the, the Das Kapital. Yes. Mm. Sir, uh, the, the communist manifesto given by Karl Marx was revolutionary in a, in a way to fight the, uh, the upper class or the capitalist class. Sir. But it was reinterpreted uh, to, uh, to suit to the uh, indigenous or the local requirement of Mao, sir. He has also brought in a violence. Karl Marx never uh, supported violence uh, in, a, in the... That is good enough. How it impacts India? India's internal security. Internal security, sir. It impacts in the northeastern region and the northern region, regions because of the uh, insert. Which are the areas? In the hinterlands. Hinter Northeast, okay. Any other area? Sir, in the hinterlands of Chhattisgarh, where the Maoism. Okay, okay. okay. Even in Maharashtra, where Maharashtra? Sir. In Maharashtra, which are the districts affected? Sir, the district, backward districts of Marathwada, sir. Which are, which are those backward? You are a Maharashtra boy. No, sir, I'm from Karnataka. Uh, sorry, Karnataka. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I am sorry. So, Marx is interpreting international politics also. Yes. The current international politics in Marxian view, yes. how do you see? Uh, from the Marx perspective. Ma Marxian yes. theory. Yes, the Marxian theory, not realist theory. Yes. I am asking Marcin Dias. So the, the institutions have been uh, the instruments of uh, these capitalists or the, the rich countries uh, such as the Western countries. Take WTO and exemplify. Uh, the, the dispute settling body has been made crippled. It has been crippled because it is not suiting to their uh, uh, requirements. Their means whom? Uh, the Western countries the, such as USA and the other European countries. So they have a hegemony now? Yes, uh, they they used to have hegemony. They still have it. So, do you find yes. South grouping yes. has anything to do with Marx? Yes, they they have to uh, enhance their capability to ensure that their voice is being heard in the geopolitics. Okay, let us understand India Israel yes. relationship. Yes. Four points is very clear yes. which are these four points that first one is uh, uh, an act of terrorism is unequivocal on the india's part okay terrorism yes. zero tolerance yes. second there has to be humanitarian corridors sir okay third israel must be mindful of the loss of the uh, uh, human being human being civil, innocent civil very, very good then third one is two state solutions yes excellent uh, gulf of hormuz and Malacca Strait. Yes. How are they important for India's maritime trade? Last question. Yes. Uh, energy security. Uh, 60 to 70 percent of our energy security is met or the, met through this sea line of uh, communications because we have a large dependence on the Arab countries. And, Malacca and a uh, Strait of Malacca, sir. Uh, it, uh, it, the connect with the ASEAN countries. Uh, in terms of technology trade that we have with Pacific and uh, Indian Ocean yes. link. Yes. Okay, all the best. You are doing well. Thank you, sir. Okay, so all the best. Thank you Thanks. very much. Thank, Thank you, everyone. You are Thank doing you. wonderfully well. Yes. Thanks. All okay. the best. Good luck.